you're somewhat of a lone soldier out there, if you will, on China, saying, listen, this economy is hyper-stimulated, it's a bubble, uh, this is not going to get better for China in the long term, saying it's Dubai times a thousand or worse. I just want you to, to outline why you are uh, so negative on the long-term prospects for China. Well, we're, we're negative, and, and people who've said those things, Poppy, haven't heard our presentation. All right, give it to us. Uh, well, I, the, the important thing I'm saying about China is that there's a property bubble going on in China. That is really where we came at this. From our work in the commodity sector, from our work on individual companies, the more work we did, the more we began to realize that the numbers uh, that are at work here in China, its construction um, campaign, if you will, to keep GDP growth high, mm -hmm. is all based on high-rise construction, mm -hmm. residential and office space. Simply put, you know, the stuff that got Dubai in trouble, the stuff that got Miami in trouble, the stuff that got property markets all over the world in trouble. And it's going on in China on a massive, massive scale. Mm -hmm. And whether it's Dubai times 100 or 1,000, as I said, tongue firmly placed in cheek, although the more work we do, the more we're beginning to think it's the latter and not the former. Really? Um, you've got to come to the conclusion that there is, is overcapacity being built and more of it coming. And what we found interestingly, and while we picked up a few fellow travelers in our, in our bearish views on this, is that the response to this is not really, oh, he's wrong on his numbers or he's wrong about property. It's really the, the consistent response we're getting from the Chinese bulls, if you will, is the government will manage it. The, mm. the, 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 they will deflate this. They will work their way through it. So, so is it a lack of faith, then, in the ability of the Chinese government to manage their, their economics well enough? I mean, you look at, at how they targeted the, their latest stimulus plan. It was more successful than in this country. They've got, what, $2 trillion in foreign currency reserves. They're asking their banks to hold more capital right now. I mean, it seems like they're making... Progress. Well, you, you think you, you think it's successful. I don't think it's successful. I think the banking system is loaded with bad debts there. And in fact, if you looked at the last two bubble economies that took in large amounts of foreign currency, mm -hmm. it was the U.S. in 1929 and it was Japan in 1989. Sure, and, both, and both of those had domestic credit bubbles offsetting. So the, the hot money coming in is what really is a a hallmark are, are of these kinds of credit markets. Are we looking maybe at a lost decade ahead for China like Japan? Well, I think uh, given China's accounting, <laughs> and I am a critic of their accounting, I think if it was, you might not even know it, i.e. that they, they would still show you some sort of GDP growth. Um, but it's the consistency and the makeup of that growth that worries me. Mm -hmm. It is, we are in uncharted waters here for a major economy in which 60%, we believe, this year mm -hmm. of China's GDP will be construction. And that is just unheralded. The, the, the comparable number in the West is about 15 to 20 percent a year of, of, of a Western economy's GDP growth is new construction. And in China now, we've been over 50 or around 50 for a few years. We've been over 30 for 13 years mm -hmm. or 14 years. Um, the Asian Tigers in the mid-90s got into trouble uh, having over 30 for, for a handful of years, five or six or seven years, something like that. This is really unprecedented. No, no major economy has ever done this, and, and we're going to see how it works out. Could the Chinese government at this point make a significant change that would alter your outlook on the country's prospects? Well, I think that, I mean, it, it appears that they took the first steps in January, February uh -huh. in terms of tapping on the brakes. The question is, will tapping on the brakes, you know, lead to a, a, an accident which will cause them to, to, to pull back uh, or... Will they continue the, the process? And the answer is, I don't know. I mean, it, it, the banks there are controlled by the government, make no mistake about it. So lending by the banks is controlled by the government. So they have all sorts of policy tools to use. The question is, will the bulls be right and will the government push the right buttons and pull the right levers or not? Are you veering away at all from some of your short positions on China, given what the government has done in the last few months, no, or are you still no, 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 no. aggressively? No, I, 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 think, I, I think that, that what really will pay off for us on the short side, will be uh, the construction tailing off. Mm -hmm. In many ways, we would argue that the Chinese government doing that would help our short positions, um, in that we are looking at, at companies that supply the products that go into the high-rises. Sure.